we read something in one of the readings with the professor and um, it talked about Margaret Sanger and I said, oh, she has this pamphlet and I wonder if there's anything about it. And he said, oh, I wonder if it's in Yiddish. So he went online and went to the Yiddish Book Center's website to look up the online edition of it. And he translated the uh, table of contents for me. And we were just looking at it online. And he said, oh, this is a really great place. Have you ever heard of it? And I said, no. And he said, oh, if you want to learn Yiddish, this is the place to go. <laughs> and I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, I've had some students who've gone to Yivo or to Vilna. And everyone sort of has mixed feelings about those. It's sort of up and down each year. But everyone universally says that the Yiddish Book Center has a really fun program. If nothing else, it's a good time. I sort of came in with what Professor Michaels and I had discussed, which was about this pamphlet um, from 1916. It's called What Every Girl Should Want, or Fos Yedem Mädel Darf Wissen, in Yiddish, um, by Margaret Sanger. And it was translated in the same year uh, into Yiddish, and sort of the differences between the English edition and the Yiddish. Um, and how language has been strategically used in the Yiddish to really emphasize certain points that would be more salient or more relevant to a Yiddish audience than an Anglo-American secular something one. Um, it was a book that described everything in a, not everything, it, it talked, it was sort of like a comprehensive view of a woman's body and a woman's life. So it was everything from menstruation to menopause and I looked at some things about um, abortion and some things about reproduction and how a mother should speak to her children about reproduction. Um, everything from literally birds to bees sort of thing. And it's very interesting. We learned about Mr. and Mrs. Frog and things like that. So it was interesting to see how similar they really were, but the fact that the people I'm, that are helping me translate these better Yiddish speakers are um, telling me that the author of the translation really is like a native Yiddish speaker in the way that he composes sentences and theories and ideas is very Yiddish, even though the words are nearly identical in the English. It's pretty unique for me because I don't know anything about those sort of things yet. Um, so it's really, really interesting in that way. Um, and then I'm also going to hopefully be looking at a, jar like a more general, larger idea of what learning about uh, women's bodies was like for women, women immigrants um, specifically, in the turn of the 20th century up until like the 30s or 40s, and sort of what kind of manuals existed and what was encouraged, what was discouraged, what kind of freedoms immigrant girls had that they might not have had back in Europe.